four, three, two, one. Game on Media is about to play on the clock with Dan Creel, who represents the West Province in the Curry Cup, as well as the Stormers in Super Rugby. Dan, are you ready? I'm ready, Dan. Okay, let's start with some rugby ones first. What's your favorite thing about playing rugby? Chief, it's probably you know, getting to uh, meet new people and, and traveling the world. Outside of winning the Curry Cup, your next best memory? Probably the Junior World Cup in Auckland. Um, yeah, we lost in the final there against England, uh, but just also a great, great group of guys and just great memories that I've made there. Dan, you're part of a family where Jesse, your twin brother, plays for the Bulls. You play for Western Province, and now your youngest brother is playing for the Sharks down in Durban. How is the banter at home? <laughs> Trust me, there's a lot of banter at home, but you know we can't, you can't win every conversation, so sometimes you have to let them win. I think. The person who's in the most, in the biggest predicament is your mom. Because who does she support when all three brothers are, are playing against each other? Uh, she's always told that she loves us all the time, so I guess all of us will. Definitely. Talking about your mom, you grew up, your, your father passed away when you guys were very young. How has she been as a mother, especially in supporting your rugby career? Uh, yeah, my, my dad passed away when we were really, really young. Um, so, you know, my mom's always been the rock, um, you know, the, the supportive one in our life. She's been our mom and our dad. Um, and I think only, you only realize that once you have your own kids, you know, and um, I, I really take my hat off to her and just, you know, she's, she's incredible, one in a million. Your worst rugby injury? Probably I, had, I dislocated my AC joint in matric, which set me back um, for the whole year in matric. So I had almost Craven week and uh, it's a schools with my butt. So I guess that one was. Dan, let's get a little bit more personal. Describe to us your wedding day. How did it go? Without a hitch, how was the wife? Was she cool, calm, and collected, or was she a nervous wreck? No, my wife was actually the cool, calm, and collected one. Um, I was a bit of the, the nervous wreck, you know. Um, but it was a super special day. Um, one of the best days of my life that I've ever lived. And I think it was really special to us because it was on you know, our family farm, Treft and Eggs. Uh, it was in our sugar cane, which was really, really you know, sentimental. Um, moment for us and our family and my wife's family. Your favorite food? Bra and sushi. Your favorite movie? Ooh, Braveheart. Favorite book? Uh, I'm not much of a reader. Rugby players need to start reading more. No, no, we do. <laughs> Where does the inspiration for your daughter's name come from? Um, we actually came up with a few names, my wife and myself, and we actually you know it's, it's quite difficult when, you, when you're having kids. Um, a lot of family members weren't happy with some of the names that, you know, that we actually decided on. And then one day, I think my wife came to me and she said, what do you think of the name Summer? And that was just one name that we loved and our friends and family loved it. So it stuck. Apple or Android? Uh, Apple. PlayStation or Xbox? Uh, I'm not, not much of a gamer, so none. Bucky or muscle car? Uh, Bucky, definitely. Your favorite holiday destination? Uh, Barcelona or Mozambique? Your favorite thing about being South African? Just everything, the chaos, you know. Um, just, it's that okay. <laughs> As we end off, you already have a daughter. If you were to have a son, what would you name them? Gee, because I couldn't tell you that, that right now, Dan, but it's, um, as soon as I do, you know, as soon as my wife and I do fall pregnant, I'll definitely let you know. Well, Daniel's a great name, I'm just saying. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Mon Video, thanks you for playing on the clock with us, Dan. All right, Dan, thanks, man. Thanks for having us, having me, guys.